This is Steve Ridgeland. I've been thinking about some things Jesus said, it was recorded in Matthew 16, when he talked about if you want to follow him, if you want to be his disciple, if you want to come after him, if you want to be a Christian. <clears throat> and in that discussion, he talks about three things that are really kind of jarring statements. One is he starts off by saying, well, here it is, deny yourself. My following Jesus starts with saying no to yourself. And, and then he has a little thing about seeds. You know, if you bury a seed and it dies, it produces a lot, but if you put it over by itself and just leave it, it doesn't do anything. Kind of like dying matters because the application's for us. And then that statement about if you try to save your life, you'll lose it. But if you lose your life for my sake, you'll save it, find it, have it. And so I've been thinking about what it means to die. And one of the things that I, I think we ought to start with is in Romans 6, where Paul defines baptism as dying with Jesus. I mean, he says, don't you know as many of you as were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We were buried with him, therefore, by baptism into death, that just like Jesus was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might have a new life. And if we're united with him in his death, we'll also be united with him in his resurrection. Boy, Paul is real clear there that baptism absolutely is where you are crucified with Christ. It's where you die with Jesus. It's where you share in his death and you're raised out of the waters of baptism to a new life. And if we're united like that in death, we're gonna be united in the resurrection. Boy, that is clear and strong. Now, I've got to tell you, I didn't really get a lot of that growing up. I grew up in a fellowship that was really strong on baptism, but it was more about the connection between baptism and forgiveness of sins. Now, that's important. The same Paul we just quoted, when he was baptized, the preacher told him, Paul, stop waiting. Get up, be baptized, and wash your sins away. So clearly I get that connection. The apostle Peter on the day of Pentecost when he preached and the Jews said, Ah, we've crucified God's son. What do we do? He said, well, you repent and you be baptized. Your sins will be forgiven. You'll get the gift of the Holy Spirit. So I, I, there is a connection there, but that's about all I heard. I didn't really hear a lot about this is where you die with Jesus and you come to a new life. We didn't talk a lot about the way to live the new life. We talked a lot about the sins of the old life being forgiven. And so I've really thought a lot about how important it is to realize that we are dead men walking. I mean, one of the ways you deny yourself is to die with Jesus. And one of the ways that you become a seed buried in the ground is you die to yourself and you're crucified with Christ and raised to a new life. And one of the ways you lose your life is by denying yourself and being crucified with Jesus so that you come up to a new life. And so I very much believe that baptism and forgiveness of sins are linked because after all, the whole reason Jesus came and died was to forgive our sins. So I, I think that's really appropriate. But I also want to tell you, if, if you've been baptized, remember this about your baptism. It's where you died with Jesus. It's where you were raised to a new life life. And it guarantees that we're going to be raised in the ultimate resurrection. So I really have thought a lot about the fact that when we invite people to be baptized, we ought to be saying, come die with Jesus. Come lose your life to find it. This is Steve Ridgell being thankful forever that I died with Christ to be raised to a new life that will last forever.